In this lesson, we're going to be talking a little bit about fan centers, what they are, and the control voltage connections of the fan center. So a fan center is a device that's added to a heating system. That could be a gas furnace, could be an oil furnace. And the reason we add it is to operate the blower fan if the system is not manufactured as air conditioning ready. What this does, it allows the fan to run independently in each mode. That would be heating or cooling. Low speed is typically controlled for heating. High speed fan is typically for cooling or for constant fan. In other words, the G switch on the thermostat, the fan on or auto. The, what makes up a fan center? There's a transformer that's usually 120 volts. There's a fan relay that may have one or two contact banks and the plug is ready for both. And there's a four by four electro, electrical box mounting. They say it's optional, but the bottom line is most code jurisdictions require all line voltage connections to be made within a junction box. So this is an example of a fan center. If you look at it, you can see your transformer down on the bottom right with a um, terminal mount, terminal block on top of it. Up top is your relay that's inserted into a white plastic junction box or plug. On the terminal strip, the R terminal is the 24 volts from the transformer, which will go to the terminal RC at the thermostat. It's a screw or spade type connector. The C terminal is the common terminal for the transformer. It already has one wire on it that pre-connects to the side of the relay coil. You can also connect up to here anything else that needs a common coming back to the transformer. The W terminal is just a terminal connection. Doesn't do anything on the fan center, but it's just a nice place to put all your wire junctions for the heating side of the system. First wire comes from the thermostat W. The second wire would go to the heat relay in the furnace or the piece of heating equipment. You have a Y terminal. As with the W terminal, it's just a terminal connection. It comes with a spade or screw connection, one wire from the thermostat Y side, the second wire to the cooling contact. The G terminal already has one wire pre-wired on it. It goes to the um, coil of the fan relay. You would connect the G wire from the terminal on the thermostat to this terminal on the fan center. This is an example of the wiring diagram of a fan center arrangement. You'll notice the black and white wire at the top is for your transformer primary 120 volts. Then you'll also have an R and a C wire. The R is your feed to your thermostat. It's your hot, hot side of the transformer. The C is the common. It has one wire that's pre-wired to the common of the fan relay coil. You also have a G terminal that's pre-wired to the G or the other side of the fan center relay. You have a W and a Y that's just junction point. Now, behind the fan center, on the high voltage side, you have a second black wire. That's your common wire or your feed to your fan center relay contacts. You have one relay contact that's normally open, one that's normally closed. So your black is your power in, your red goes to your heating side, which would, I'm sorry, your red goes to your cooling side of the blower motor, which would be a high speed connection on your blower motor. And the brown would go to your fan limit switch on the furnace to operate the low side of the blower motor. Now the key is that the blower motor, the high and the low speed when it's wired properly, can never come on at the same time because your relay will never allow the red and the brown terminal to be powered together. Okay, one's a normally open, one's a normally closed. They can never be powered at the same time. This is an example of how it's wired on the control side. You have your R, G, Y, and W on the thermostat connect into the identical terminals on the fan center. Sometimes the thermal thermostat might have a C terminal. Connect that to common. The W terminal gets connected to your control connections of the furnace. Okay, and the Y goes to your condensing unit. And again, all commons come back to the C terminal. And finally, we leave off with a picture of a fan center, how you would see it in a box, okay? Your line voltage connections are the wires on the back of it. Your control voltage connections are open. Everything is labeled. 
and the colors of the wires, okay, on the back side match the schematic in the box. And that's how all there is about fan centers.